Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. When we last left off, we had probably one of the best episodes so far in this Let's Play. We commenced the attack on the bandit camp, and it was just truly spectacular, let me tell you. We assaulted with a whole group of soldiers, everyone was in formation, archer fire was coming flying down. It was just so cool, and I really hope that there's lots more of that, and even on a bigger scale as well because that was you know probably about 50 maybe like 30 verse 40 soldiers you know so around about 100 men in that battle and i'm looking forward to the ones where there's you know like four or five hundred uh, in the battle because that's just going to be even crazier if that's anything to go by so this episode i think what we will be doing is we'll be doing a few of the side missions we've kind of come to an end of our main quest line for now obviously there's loads more still left to do but i feel like there's not you know, like we've come to a nice stopping point in the campaign. We've just managed to defeat the guy who beat us up in Scalitz all the way back in episode 2 or 3. And we've kind of finished that up. Whereas before we were on such a rush to find the bandits who assaulted the farm um, up here to the north. And Neuhof, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, and now we've done that. You know, we've, we've defeated the bandit encampment. We can kind of take a break and, and maybe do a few of these side quests for this mission. So that's probably what I'm planning on doing. Uh, we have actually got a mission to go to the bars with Sir Han. So we'll probably do that in a little bit. I also do have a few things to sell still, which are on my horse. I have a heavy shield, but I'm kind of tempted to sell it just because it's a lot cheaper. We can actually wear these van braces now that when we've actually got new armor as well. Yeah, that's something I should say as well if you did miss last episode. Which if you did miss last episode, please go back and watch it. It is hands down the best episode we've had so far just such cool sword combat and battering down a gate and stuff it was awesome so go back and watch it um so yeah now we've got new armor we've got this awesome new chest piece which is giving us some great body armor our arm armor isn't as great but we can now put on them van braces right which should give us yeah look how much more armor them van braces give us as well puts us up to 18 18 7 from 8 8 3 yeah definitely stick them on um that's going to just give our arm so much more protection I think our only weak part is really we need to get a better helmet and better legs. At the moment, we have, like, no leg protection. Um, but we're starting to look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Especially, look how cool we look on our horse as well. That looks badass as hell. So I need to go and sell this gauntlet whenever I can. Um, I might just pick it off and put it on my body as we have the room. Yeah, I need to sell that gauntlet because that gauntlet is worth, like, a lot of money. And at the moment, we are kind of broke. We spent all our money on this new armor. Um, and obviously repairing our weapons as well. Repairing our cumin stuff was super expensive. So I think what we might do is go into town. I'm not actually sure where we're going to try and sell this. Like, I, I don't think any of these guys would actually end up buying it. Um, yeah, I actually have no idea. I guess a trader might pick this up, so maybe we'll go to the inn. Yeah, maybe we'll go to one of the taverns and see if we can sell uh, this, this gauntlet. Because I can't imagine the swordsman would buy it. And I doubt the, like, grocers and stuff. Oh, there's actually a trader right here. Oh, yeah, there's a trader right here, of course. Perfect. Let's go over here, then, and check it out. So, yeah, I think we're going to go do the mission for Sahand. And then we're going to go to uh, Tamba. Because there's... So, Devish was having issues with getting... Um, oh, nice. We can do this as well for Townburg. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so there's actually a mission up there where Sahanish is trying to get more and more mason uh, stone, I guess, from the priests for his uh, death battlements. And I imagine it would be a good idea to get um, get that because, obviously, you know, the war is coming. So having the better stuff would be great, uh, you know, better walls. And maybe that will improve the castle and make it more defensible if we do that side mission. So I want to go and explore that. Sorry, that, I was trying to do multiple things at once and I was I was a bit confused. We Do we have food and stuff out of interest really quickly? Um, we have some dried beef still and a lot of potions. Not really t a ton of potions. I don't really need much of this alcohol as well. Um, so I might actually send all of this alcohol over there. Um, I mean, we'll keep the wine. I mean, we'll keep the mead actually, because we're better at drinking, uh, you know, beer more than anything else. So we'll keep hold of the, the mead and sell everything else. Again, just giving us some more money. And again, I'll keep all the potions. The potions can come in useful. And this poison bread, I guess I'll keep it. But I really messed up there. I I, I wish so badly that we didn't go ahead and poison that bread, and we could have poisoned more of the. Uh, bandits. I mean, it all turned out for the best, so, you know, what's the worst thing that could have happened? Let's just pick up two bits of bread. We get, you know, a lot of gold. We'll haggle a little bit as well, just so we get an extra bit of gold, because Let's as I said, we are a little boss. bit broke. Look how cool we look yeah, now. That's awesome. I imagine we'll, as soon as we go start the next quest line... Are we agreed? Are we agreed? Close. 
Oh, no. Yeah, I imagine when as soon as we go see uh, Sir Radzig after the... What about this? After we've done all these side missions, he's going to pay me. Because normally I get payment for the quest, you know, when I start the next one. But he's, yeah, he's not bulging. Oh, well. Yeah, normally we get payment for the next quest. We get payment for a previous quest on the next one. So I imagine we're going to be getting a lot of money when we do go ahead and start that next quest, the next main quest line. Because, you know, so Radzig was saying we'll get you know rewarded handsomely with that. And I think if we do get paid like a thousand... Uh, a thousand ducats and I think I'll end up picking up maybe you know uh, some new leg armor uh, maybe I feel like our sword is good enough for now maybe a mace to go along so we can switch if we come up against heavily armored component uh, opponents um, I don't know we'll, we'll kind of look uh, I guess maybe a helmet would be really nice as well because as I said we are kind of lacking a helmet pretty heavily or maybe just even like an, o an outer garment as well to make it look cool because um, everything else is pretty decent I think <laughs> Uh, I think actually Sir Hans is coming over to the bathhouses because that's actually where our, our quest is. So that is where we're heading over. Um, so the bathhouses will just turn up here, stick our horse here. And then I think he said wait to the evening, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll wait a couple hours. Um, yeah, we'll wait until like six. Maybe that's classes evening. Uh, I imagine it would be. So yeah, we'll just wait a couple hours. It'll start getting a little bit darker. We'll do this, then we'll go up to Townburg. Oh, what am I doing? I got too busy talking. We need to go back to that trader for Lady Stephanie. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we'll do this mission. We'll go back to the trader for Lady Stephanie. Then we'll go up to Townburg, uh, get the masonry missionary mission for the, so Lord Davish, and then we'll go out. Okay, that seems like a good plan. So is Sir Hans here? Is he going to be inside the house? I think he is. Yeah, he's inside the house. So let's go ahead and You're do this. Oh, come back after dark. Why are you going back so late? I guess I'll wait another couple hours. Our energy and our nourishment are still pretty decent. We also picked up some bread as well. So we'll be able to stick our nourishment right back up. We just need to make sure we don't eat the poison bread. Otherwise, we're going to have to rush so goddamn quickly to the, uh, to the trader to get some antidote or the alchemist to get an antidote. Which is kind of cool, but in case you do, I guess you get poisoned on the road, it's a smart thing to do. Here I am, sir. What do you mean the sun has gone down? Yeah, the moon's up in the sky. We did actually level up though, we got our speech to increase, which is pretty awesome. What other ones do we have? Oh yeah, highborn, lowborn. I still don't know what one to go, guys. Do let me know in the comments what one you think I should go, highborn or lowborn. Because um, all of them would help out quite a lot. That's really useful to see the counterpart stats so we can kind of counter them. And I don't really care about that too much. Haggling's not really a huge issue. You have a 50% higher reputation when you talk to women so you can persuade them more easily. And you can avail bath wenches for free. So we can actually get bath stuff to see. These are all really good stats. I think seeing my counterpart is always going to be really useful um, at, at doing stuff because we'll all, always be able to tell what their stats are. So I'm going to pick this one up for now. However, all of these are really good. And if you guys think one of them is like a must have, do let me know um, as like, I, I don't know what one to go because all of these seem really good. But we'll have to find out again. Vitality. Oh, we got a new one, right? Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of new Vitality ones, right? Yeah, we did. Indeed. Awesome. So before we just had these ones. So we have Sprinter. You run faster, but you tire slower. We don't really care about that. If you don't either overeat for five consecutive days, you gave one. That's really good. And then you can dispel hunger with anything. You won't suffer from eating poison. I'm going to get balanced diet because if we just eat normally, which we have been doing for quite a while, if we just like pay attention to it, we're going to get good bonuses to vitality and agility, which are all going to come in very useful. So balanced diet for sure. We just need to make sure that our, our nourishment never goes below, I think, 50 is when you get hungry. I think that's a must. Oh, so we've got bonuses in defense as well. Um, I think we just swear we already did this. I mean, I guess not. Um, I could have sworn I got these skills, but may maybe I'm just mistaken. Um, yeah, proper diet. Oh, and so do we get bonuses now? Yeah, look at that. Our vitality and agility have gone up. That's awesome. So if you beat your opponent in a clinch, you'll damage his weapon more. Um, blocking an opponent's strike with your shield will cost him more stamina. I mean, both of these are pretty decent. That's pretty good as well. Um, I guess we'll try and... I still need to find out how I actually properly fight clinches, but I'll pick up the clinch one. And we've got another swordsmanship. I guess this is all from uh, the fight we had. 
Um, so we have swords. So we want one something with long swords, right? Yeah, because this is a long sword, and we're mainly using long swords at the moment. I am gonna change it up maybe and use a mace and shield or something like that. So this is slash bottom left stab stab. But yeah, we can do this one. So I because we're using a long sword, this is probably the best one for us to get. Uh, so let's pick that up. Yeah, there's a lot of maintenance going on in this episode. I feel. Oh, we also got a main level as well. Great. So what can we get? We can get so much stuff now. Scout two. What's brute? Uh, oh yeah, we just didn't know what one to get, did we? Oh yeah, because all of these ones. Oh, and I haven't actually. Uh, this is this is the last episode I'm pre-recording. So yeah, you guys will be able to tell me what what one you think I should go for uh, by the time I'm back. Um, nice, we got balanced diet as well. I'm actually gonna make sure I eat. Sorry, there's a lot of maintenance going on in this episode, um, but. You know, this is more about our side mission, so make sure we eat, get our nourishment up. Make sure we don't overeat at all, either. And I guess let's wait. I'll wait until 10. 10 surely must be enough to start this side quest. Must be. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Always having to pay attention to our diet. Making sure that we don't, like, overcommit to something and eat too much. Yeah, it must be night time now. There we go. Are we going to get in the bath together? <laughs> I'd laugh if we did. Do you need anything, my lord? What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favor, Henry. Of course. Of course, sir. Look how cool we look. Well, you'd never think it, but Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked, and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. <laughs> Let's strip her then. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. It didn't quite go as planned. Not quite. But maybe you can do better. Right then. You've got to beat Zdena at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his ass on the show. Oh, uh, sure. Why? Let's do it. Why the hell not? We're okay at dice. I feel like uh, we, we should have won that game against Nightingale a couple episodes back, but it just never went to plan. Do I, not, do I need to ask her to play? I guess I have to ask it to play, right? Come on, milady, let's go. Let's play some dice. How about a game of dice, then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men? <laughs> <laughs> let's see how good you... Let's go, let's go. So, as I said, I do get, like, basic understandings of this game. We'll use, obviously, my, my beta dice. Can I select it? Yeah, there we go, then confirm. I love how we've still got our gauntlets on as well. So we only need to get to 400 this time. Um, so it's, what is it? Five, they're only worth 50, whereas ones are worth more, right? Oh, I can do that, can I, and that's all I can do, if I'm not mistaken. Because you can only really score with ones and, you can only really score with ones and fives. But by taking a five, I then take away one of my dices, right, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'll take away one of my dices, so it'll be less likely I'll get a triple which are worth the most amount of points. So let's let's go ahead and score and roll again. So we'll just take that 100 points. It's a nice thing to bank. Uh, we got some fours, unfortunately. Another one as well. And I can't go ahead and get these right. Just No, I can't. And you need three of a kind. I'm going to score once more just with this. If I can get it. There we go. I'm going to score and roll once more. And if I end up not getting anything good here, then I'll just continue to pass. Nice. Another one, which is good. And a five. So I'm probably just going to get uh, grab... Both of these, and then do it. Because if you end up busting, so if you end up, so if I was to end up, you know, scoring these and then rolling again, and I didn't roll a one or a five, then I'd end up losing all the points I've got in this round. So now there's only two dice left. I'm going to score and I'm going to pass. You know, it's 350 points, not too bad. I love if she was just hard coded to beat me, <laughs> and she just like rolls like 1400 in one roll. Because I think if you roll five ones, you actually get a thousand points. So she almost could. Come on, bust already, girl. Oh, she's just getting her ones. Huh. Keeping her dice, though, which is not a bad idea. Another one. No, good. She got a five. So she's got the same amount of points as me. Now she's, she's still going for it. Wow, don't roll anything. Bust, bust, bust. What's yes! So she doesn't get any points. Oh, she is going to be stripped by the end of this for sure. Oh, we got a... Oh, no, we almost got a great score. If any of these were like twos, we'd be able to absolutely ruin this. But I'm for, I mean, any of yeah, if any of them were three of a kind, it'd be great. But they're not right, yeah, no. So we'll just we'll just score with 200 points. I think that's a good little uh, thing. So let's roll again. Should be able to roll a something. 
Oh, nice, we got four of a kind as well. That's really lucky because we didn't actually roll a one. So let's go ahead and just score and pass this. 900 points. Perfect. I will take that. She's still on zero as well. Granted, she's only had one go. Rolling that four of a kind will be great. <laughs> you can see it's her hands. Oh, wow. She absolutely smashed it there then. 500 points. That's a little bit scary. And she... Wow. She rolled that last dice. Oh, so she gets to go again if you clear everything. I did not know that. That was so lucky of her, though, to roll a one or a five out of one dice. Come on, just bust. Just get really unlucky. Wow, she is... She is taking no prisoners here. Yeah, no wonder. I didn't realize, though, if you rolled... If you got rid of all the dice, you could go ahead and just uh, keep going. Nice. So we got a really good dice roll here. I'm just going to hold these. I'm not going to be cocky because... We could, like, roll these guys again um, and go, but that's, oh, that's 700 points. Did we just win? Oh, yeah, we just win. Great. So let's go ahead and just score and pass, right? Uh, no, score. I almost hit score, score and roll again. Score and pass. Yeah, there you go. We won. Good. <laughs> My math there is not good. We going again? Oh, does she undress? Oh, I think she undresses. Uh, she's already taken off a bit of clothes, so now we play again. Okay, I get it. So as, as we continue to play, she loses clothes, I, I guess. Two fives as well. That's 200 points. We'll, we'll roll again, why not? Try and roll a three of a kind or something. Maybe not roll anything. Why did yeah. You... Hey, it's a hand. Chill, man. And this is where she absolutely annihilates me. Just rolls like hmm. six of a kind. Or five. Yeah, six of a kind. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. The AI scripting comes into play for her. Come on, I'm trying to help the hands here. It is my duty to the Lord. That'll do me. Yeah, I mean, she's already ahead, so why not? Um, so we, we have barely anything here. Yeah, we have like five. And we have to take a dice to roll again. Yeah, we have to take a dice to roll again. So we'll take the five. It's only 50 points, but we have to. Oh, nice. We've got a good amount of score here. So we'll probably just take these points, right? That's 300 points. We'll we'll take it and we'll just pass. You know, we're still behind, but, you know, she might go bust on one of these guys and then we can really catch up. This'll be the one. Because I don't know what part of clothing she has taken off, but she must have taken off something. I wonder what happens if me and Sahanish are just both naked in the bath. It'd be kind of weird. Oh, wait. She absolutely just destroyed me. Why did you... Oh, wow. A bit hard-coded. Come on. Scripted. Surely. Yeah, I mean, she just wins this one. She's cheating. She's cheating, Sahanish. Yeah, she just wins now. Wait, why is she still going? She wins. Come on, AO. Bust, 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 bust. Oh, no. She doesn't bust. Why is she not just quitting? She's already won. She's just rubbing insult to injury right now. And she's still going with two dice. Money. Yeah, what was that about? Come on. Come on, Kingdom Come. Develop your AI to be better at dice already. Come on, man. Um, so let's just let's just go for broke, right? Let's we have to, right? Because she wins probably next go no matter what. So let's just keep on rolling and until we hopefully can get enough points. We'll just risk it for a biscuit. And if worse comes to worse. Oh. Wearing the spot uh, sorry. That's all. Yeah, I think I did lose after yeah, that. Exactly okay, yes. I'm not going to use that dice any. Actually, we will use that dice because it's obviously good luck. So what? Yeah, I lost to my gloves, I guess. Let's go. Nice. Nice little three of a kind to begin. And the five. That's already most our way there. So we'll just score this and pass. God, having three of a kind of ones gives you a thousand points. Hmm. Be the one. I suppose she had another five there, but I guess you didn't want to reduce her dice. Uh, it doesn't matter. You you probably got a hold no here. Yeah, exactly. And all I need is 350 points, so I can go pretty safe here. Not that I really get anything good here, but obviously we'll 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 roll again. So just a couple ones and we're good. Nothing else really, though. So I guess we'll hold this and just keep on rolling. Cause we we got a little bit little bit of leeway, right? Yeah. 
Another one. I mean, we might as well just go for broke, right? There's no point not going for broke. As we're still, what, 100 points short, if I'm not mistaken? So just one more one. Doesn't look like we got it, though. Oh, well, that's fine. I love she ends up beating me now. It just goes on absolute tear. Like that. <laughs> this will be the one. She's only rolling like two one dice. I don't believe yeah, yeah. it. I do. That's the odds of that happening are crazy. You, you bath wench. Nice. I think we just win now, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we just win. Might as well get that just because why not. Score and pass. That's how to roll. Hey, That's here we go. We beat her. You show her, Henry. Looks like I. What's happening? Where's she going? Wait, she doesn't even get undressed. What's the point of I doing that? A good soak too. Then strip off and <laughs> yes, of All course. Right, why not? Put your clothes in the trunk. Oh god, am I gonna get like beaten or am I gonna get like all my stuff stolen or something? Shift over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> oh. Oh, that feels good. Man, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. I mean, that's I not true. That's we we do need to wash a lot more. You certainly know how to have a good time. Yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality. We've still got our bowl on our back. Wow. Uh, don't mind if do. Yeah, let's get drunk with him. Why not? Give me that. That's the spirit. Me and Sir Hans need so some good bonding you time. This is from your injuries, booze and wenches. Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? <laughs> Look up, bro. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zena here is very healing. You'll keep an eye on things here, won't you? Clara, bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. Am I done here now? You know what, Henry, we really can't drink this local piss. Oh, really? Sir. Are we going somewhere else now? You mean words from a noble gent. Clara, my most favourite is bathmaid. But bath admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pitiful. pitiful. I guess we're gonna have to go get him some wine now. I'd rather drink the bath water. <laughs> you should go and get something better. Though where? Ah, I know. In the cellars under the rat's house, there's some excellent wine that Sanish bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? Well, I'd be indebted to you. <laughs> a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. Yeah, let's All just right, do it. Then. Why not? What kind of wine is it? A sylvan red. In the cellar under the rat's house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right-hand side. Get a picture somewhere and take it with you. Uh, let's go. Right then, I'll bring let's it. go, let's go. I guess we're going to have to break in. Because he's not going to let us in, is he? Um, we need to go ahead and get a picture somewhere. So let's... Can we pick up any of these? Uh, also, let's get our clothes back as well. Oh, God. No, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal that. Have it back. Have it back. No. What What key was it? It's a quest item now? Oh, no. I needed it. Oh, good. I needed that, right? I oh, know. It said steal, though. I hope I didn't just steal something I wasn't supposed to steal. I just wanted to get my clothes back, um, which we have now got, right? But I think we needed this key anyway. So let's just equip back all on all our armor and stuff. In case we run into any unsavory, unsavory fellows on the road. We don't want to wear that. That makes us look gross. Whereas this looks, makes us look cool. Yeah, there we go. We look pretty pretty elite. I'm going to actually take my bow off, though. I thought the bow look makes me look a little bit weird. What is it? Be a bit more careful. You be a bit more careful, wench. Where's the picture? I need to get a picture from where? Does it say on the map? It probably will, right? 
So we need to go get a picture. Oh, it's in the house as well. Okay, cool. So we need to go to the rat house, which you guys informed me, I think, on episode four about rat house is just like a, a central building. Just like a, a town hall more than anything else. Because for some reason, my I guess my, my year nine German wasn't up to scratch. So the night is still dark. I'm sure there are plenty of, of uh, unsavory fellows on the road. So good thing we did armor up. Oh yeah, we also need to make sure we have a torch on as well. Because if we guys remember back from episode 4 or 5, having a torch is mandatory um, whilst in the city. I love how everyone like likes me now as well. It's awesome. So yeah, we need to have a torch out. Otherwise, we'll get arrested, which will not be a good thing to have happen. Um, I assume the rat house is just... Yeah, the rat house is where the bailiff is, right? So let's just go over here. I believe the rat house is like just around here. Oh, yeah, we're also a bit drunk as well because of our drinking. That's hilarious. Um, are we going to be able to get in here? No, this is just like a stable. Do we have to go up? Yeah, I think we have to go up, right? And we should be able to get in. Oh, the door's just open here. Perfect. I guess we'll take advantage of this. We're not in a, a secret place or anything either. And now we're in a private area. So we need to go into the cellar. If, yeah, the cellar's back. Oh, so we... Okay, I went the wrong way. My bad. So let's get back on our horse um, and ride around. It's just around the corner there. Okay, so I'm an idiot. The cellar way is just literally right here. I was searching around the city for some time looking for it and... I just didn't see this path. I assume it is up here. Yeah, we have the key. Perfect. I can't believe it was right here all along. Um, we are in a private area, though. So we do need to be a, maybe a little bit sneaky. Uh, I will crouch. So we're looking for the wine, right? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Obviously, the cellar's down here. Are you serious? Hopefully, no one's going to be pissed at me. There's a soldier right there. Can I help? Something you're looking for here? Yeah, so Han sent me. He said the one on the right. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, we need to go get a, uh, a jug as well, Who's right? All uh, right, here. There we go, perfect. Hopefully he's not going to see me and get angry with me. Welcome, Henry. If he's happy with me, so we're going to do this. Hopefully... Hey, you. Oh, you God. Lord Capon sent me to get some wine for him. Lord Capon, eh? A likely story. Oh, great. So we can actually see his stuff now. So speech is our best way um, to do this. Because, yeah, the guard's thing is really low. Whereas everything else is pretty high. I could also pay him as well if I wanted to. 81 gold to pay him. I'll just use my... I'm only a servant. You clearly don't know Laura Capon. Do you think he's going to leave in the middle of his merriment to go and get his own wine? <laughs> yeah, of no, course there. No, that doesn't sound like the young lord. I suppose he sent you for the silver and red. The very one. Well, you'll leave some for Sir Hanush at least, won't you? <laughs> I'll try. Oh my god, that skill is like the best skill ever in the entire world. My god. Like, being able to see what his stats are to beat him is just so good. That's like amazing. We're going to be able to use that um, to, to pretty much hopefully win most of our conversations. Come on, my friend. At least we can move here freely as well now. Uh, as long as we can get out. How are you, Henry? Good, my friend. I can't believe we let that guard open as well. Uh, let's just get the hell out of here now. Let's bring the wine back. God, this, this side quest has taken us a little while, if I'm honest. Hopefully, we'll still have some time to go to Sadavish. I mean, if worst comes to worst, we'll start the, the Townberg quest anyway. And then what we'll do is we'll um, finish it off like next episode, maybe. Wait, where did I leave my horse? I left my horse over here, right? Yeah, and then we'll just finish it off, like, next episode, and then start the next main quest next episode as well. As I should be able to read all of your comments as well. By the time that I record the next one, I'll be back from my holiday, and uh, you guys hopefully would have left some awesome advice. Uh, it's, it's really, like, daunting as well, because, like, I'm obviously much better at, like, sword fighting now, and the advice you guys are giving me is still useful in the previous episodes, but I still find it, like, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I already know that, and you guys, like, telling me, like, a hundred times, Jackie, you should do this. But I still obviously appreciate it. Nice, our horsemanship is leveled up as well. We'll just make our way back to the bathhouses, provide our lord Sir Hans with uh, some extra wine. I guess we'll turn off our torch as well when we get to the door. We'll probably just turn off automatically, actually, I would have thought. It's this one, yeah, right here. We have made our return, my lord. So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, hey. have you got it? Of course. You really broke 
look into the cellar at the rat house? Be a bit I certainly did. <laughs> She's... I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. <laughs> You're insane. I didn't realise that it was. Uh, I used your key. <laughs> yeah, let's say that. Nothing to it. I just used your key. My key? Why, you sly rogue, you. You're craftier than I thought. You can keep the key. They let me in there whenever I want anyway. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on, then. Get it down, you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Sylvan red. It's not like that donkey piss they serve in this otherwise delightful establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Sylvan red. The taste is unmistakable. Look at me just still in my armor. <laughs> So they didn't take my armor back off. Also, I didn't mean to steal his key, but I'm so glad I did because now we've got it for the rest of the game. We can never get whenever we need to get into places that he could probably have access to. It's gonna make life so much easier now. And we're having a merry old time as well. Good thing I'm wearing my armor, isn't it? <laughs> I should have taken my clothes back off. I look so ridiculous. But I'm glad that Sir Hans is back to, to full strength after being beaten up. <laughs> Jesus. You mean Bob Sir Hans? I'm not like the other girls. I know, Clara. You, you are, are different. Mm -hmm. you, you deserve more. Mm. You deserve flowers. What? Is he going to send me out for flowers now? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Uh -huh. Well, I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh. sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really He's going to send me to go get poppies now. Oh, my God. You hear that? What? The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> That's not right. No, no, not weed and poppies. <laughs> what? You, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you scrivency flop and groschen. <laughs> that much. <laughs> All right. I'll go. <laughs> I guess we're out flower picking now. We're gonna probably be even more wasted now. Yeah, look how much Save more. Something. Oh, we reached a new drinking level. That's good. Roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. So do we have missions now? Like, does it show me on the map where I need to go? So up here, we need to pick up at the garden. Is that the only places we need to go? By the looks of it so far, yes, it is indeed. So let's get back on our horse. We are still somewhat wasted uh, from the wine, from the silver and red, which apparently is a, a must-have. So this, this quest is going to be good because we should get some money from it. We've obviously also got his key as well, which I imagine is going to be invaluable as we continue on playing the game. Because if we ever need to get somewhere, we can just use his key because I imagine he has a master key to most of the areas in Retei. So that's going to be really useful. Good day, boys. Good day. Um, so we want to go to the upper castle, right, if I'm not mistaken. And you got, I didn't realize that was supposed to be a stealth mission. Like, I thought it could have been a stealth mission, but I kind of went in there balls deep just expecting that no one would be annoyed at me. But how wrong was I? The garden going to be up here? Is it still? Yeah, it's still up here still. So it'd be like in here, right, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's like back there. Okay, I didn't even realize there was a garden up here. Again, I imagine we'll, uh... 
have to break our way in in a few of these places. Hey, sorry, my lord. What's down here? Just another water? Oh, just like food and stuff. So there's not like a granary down here. Okay, okay. Well, you can see I'm shaking side to side as well. Private area, yeah. So it's not here. Where is it again? Let's just zoom in on the map and try and have a better look at it. Um, oh, so is it out and then round maybe? I feel like it's just like right around the corner, if I'm not mistaken. Is there no, there's no like passageway here. No, there isn't. Is there any passageway around the side here? Because these are all like houses and stuff. I doubt we can get through there. Oh, maybe here. Yeah, this will be the garden right here. Oh, we found this one pretty quickly. Yeah, right here. So we're stealing some flowers. It's hilarious. Right there, yeah. Look at the other cameras just shaking side to side as well. Roses. Do we just need to get roses? Or is there something else? Or do we need to pick up all of these? Oh, we just need to get everything. So we've got dandelion, we've got poppies, we've got roses. Is there anything else? And a cabbage, I think he said. <laughs> what else is there left to get? Um, and... Oh, there's nothing else. There's something else I guess it'll be down here, maybe. Is it these? Yeah, it'll be these, right? If I can find them. There we go. These, maybe? There we go. So we just had a crouch for a second. It just wasn't letting me do anything. There we go. We got all the flowers. Perfect. <laughs> Look how wasted we are. What the hell are you doing here? I've got some privacy if you don't mind. Come for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's. So fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie. But are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald. <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> Shut your mouth. I'm not done with you. No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We'll talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard. I'd like to see you try arson balls. <laughs> Awesome balls! <laughs> 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 the hands is awesome. Fucking oh, hell. <laughs> Come on, mate, let's go. Okay. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> There's always trouble when Sir Hands is about. I guess that's, no, now it's time to take care of this guy. Wait, is this who I'm fighting? Oh, he looks like an absolute easy. Let's go. How do you think you're ever going to beat me? Oh, you have some wood in your hand. Why are you running, my friend? Why are you running? There we go. Now you're putting up your hands. I'm also drunk, so this is much harder than it looks. There we go. Beat him in the clinch. Now let's put on a quick one two. Yeah, he's no match. I'm in the armor for God's sake, so. Yeah, he didn't stand a chance, did he? <laughs> what the hell got into you? Trying to drown a nobleman? Oh, shit. Fuck. <coughs> I, I didn't know. Get out of my sight. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. <laughs> what an absolute mess. <laughs> I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> <laughs> so hands, man, you were awesome. <laughs> oh, that's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, <laughs> drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You of course, on? why not? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that.
We're in a private area. Oh my god, where did we end up? Okay, so we have to go see if Sir Hans is alright after our heavy night on the town. Uh, I, I hope he is okay. I'd laugh if like, uh, he was just, I don't know, dying somewhere in a pit. Where's our horse at as well? Horsey. Oh, you're right there. Nice. We'll get back on pebbles, make our way up. Look how hungover we are as well. I've never seen the bar quite that full. I'm sure Sir Hanish is not going to be happy with us for, um, for drinking his wine. Uh, we'll probably get an earful from him, but he does owe me some money, so we do want to go collect on that. Then I think I'll go back to the trader for Lady Stephanie, pick up the wine, I think, from the trader and Retay. Then we'll make our way up to Townburg. We'll get the quest from the Mason, uh, or from uh, the Lord Vest, Lord Davish, or Devish, I think is how you pronounce it. We'll go see him. Is that... He's still not dressed. Lord Hans. <laughs> What will you do with them, Sir Hans? <laughs> with what? Person, Where's he gone? I don't know. What do you think I should do with him? He was drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. He bloody tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you gone, Sir Hans? But we had some pretty good sports, eh? Oh, we only got 12 groschens for that. Are you joking after all of that? Oh, wait, he's giving me loads of 12, I think. Yeah, he's giving me loads of 12s. Why loads of 12s? That's so weird. I guess for each mish. Oh, we also got a strip dice as well. Nice. And more money. Oh, that's cool. So let's go to the trader now. Uh, pick up the thing for Lady Stephanie and then make our way up to Townburg and get that quest started. Because I want to at least try and complete two of these side quests before we start the main mission again. Or we can do three. We can do the Mason one. We can do the one for Lady Stephanie. Um, and then that should be good. Right, perfect. I think we actually have to wait a little bit though. For the shops to open. Oh god, we need to make sure we eat as well. We need, yeah, to keep our well-fed thing. We need to make sure we have a bite to eat before we get hungry. As we, we can't lose that ability. I'm sure we'll be okay with just one more tick. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it should be open now as well. So we'll pick up what we need for Lady Stephanie. Obviously, I'll make sure I eat first as well. Just so I don't end up forgetting. Got that poison bread. I'm going to end up eating that poison bread at some point. That's 100% sure. I'm honoured that... It Oh, you called me a knight. Am I a knight now? Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Uh. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noblewoman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Oh, here we go. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. I guess that's what I'll do. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do. Let's, I guess we just have to go then and uh, try and uh, win the competition. I guess we could always go and steal it as well, but I feel like an archery competition could be fun to, to round up this episode. So where is it? Oh, I've got the quest turned off now, I believe. Yeah, I think I've got the quest turned off at the moment. So what is it? At your service, my lady, yeah. Let's turn that back on. Get the wine some other way. So we could steal it if we wanted to, but I think our entering an archery competition could be good fun. Just go and test our test our skill. Where do we go? So Hans has got his clothes back on now. Welcome back, Sir Hans. I imagine you'll be entering the archery competition, maybe? I believe it's just up here on my left, if I'm not mistaken. My knowledge of Rete is uh, exceptional. Welcome, Henry. No, is it not? Yeah, it is here. 
Wait, here, are we supposed to talk to that man standing out, out the front? No? I mean, we're here. Oh, is it tomorrow? Do we have to wait until tomorrow to get it? Win the archery contest, but is it... Like, we are here. I imagine we're going to have to wait uh, until tomorrow, maybe. I mean, we could try and get it the other way. Try and steal it, maybe. That could be an interesting thing, because I imagine it would be locked up somewhere. I mean, Sir Hans owes us one. Surely he can, he can hook us up. Also, having a nice rest as well wouldn't be a bad idea. Energy is going down just a little bit. Because I imagine we're going to have to wait if we want to find it. So, win the archery contest. But it doesn't say when it is. I mean, he did say tomorrow. Oh, he's right here. Okay, good. I just had to wait a little bit. Let's go. I, I've got this archery contest in the bag. I've heard there's a contest happening. That's true. I bought the finest wines to be had. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? Uh, I assume so. I mean, I'll say I don't, I don't know just in case, but I can always skip shoot it. Shoot 7, 13, or 21 arrows, depending on who you're shooting against. The straw surround is worth one point. The white round yeah, yeah. ends when everyone has finished shooting. It's the custom to wager on it to make it more interesting. All right. That's just one more thing. Don't leave while the contest is underway and never aim or shoot at anything but the target. Otherwise, you're out. Got it. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you... Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Okay, let's go. Archery contest. I've got this. We're going to trade her, so he can't be too good. And 13 arrows. Oh, there's two guys actually as well. So let's get out our bow. I'm also a little bit nervous here because I'm not actually used to, uh, to dueling with... Um, yeah, I'm not actually used to shooting Lord Capon's bow. This is the new one for me. But let's, let's go, let's go. I mean, it's a lot, I assume it's a lot straighter. Henry, I'm glad you came. Me too. Hopefully we can still win ourselves some stuff. Oh god, we need to get better here. That trader is absolutely demolishing me. Oh my god, I'm doing awful. This bow just... I'm not used to it. Come on. There we go. Still a little bit lower, though. We're just going to do what we did last time. Just draw and shoot. Oh, we're doing so bad. This bow, I'm just not used to. The other bow was actually kind of nicer. God, we're just getting four points. Oh, yeah. The trader has easily won it. We don't, oh, yeah. We're just, we're just awful. We're going to have to try and get it some other way. Because, yeah, we're doing a, an appalling job at using this. I know there is actually a command you can use to actually get the uh, a crosshair to come up with your bow. Which we might try and do at some point. There we go. Starting to shoot a little bit better. That trader has absolutely demolished us. This bow is just so much different to the one I, I was used to using. Because this is bow is just a lot better. Like, it shoots a lot straighter. So I'm trying to compensate a lot more with it. We're starting to get the hang of it now. Maybe we should have used a few practice arrows. Yeah, he got 24. There's no way we're going to do that. Uh, so the trader's going to win it, and we're going to have to try and get it off him somehow. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to be too hard. We can pay him a bit of money. Maybe we can... Yeah, give a wine some other how, some other way. Unfortunately. God be with you, Henry. We did not win the archery. What does he want me to do? Good day to you. I need the wine, my lord. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes, and um, on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> no, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern, but there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you want, I need it. Not a chance. I want it fairly. Um, so we do have better speech than him, and we could threaten him. We don't have, we have the same. How much would he want? 84 gold? We can pay that. So how much do you want for the wine? <laughs> hundred and fifty. Wow. Agree? I'd almost shake on that. Whatever, I take my gold. Vulture. 145 gold. It's fine. We have it, we can move on, we can make our way up to Townburg. <laughs> we got the wine, that's all that matters.
So let's continue to move on. So we need to get our horse now and then I guess ride up to Townburg because we want to start that masonry quest. And I guess we'll finish off both the masonry quest uh, from Lord Davish and this one from Lady Stephanie later on today. I'm not sure what would have happened if we both had the same standing as well. So the other one's like over here we need to go. I guess we could go maybe over here first and get what? Get the, the crown? Yeah, I guess because these are both kind of close together and I'm pretty sure the, he will send me from Townburg to a monastery around here, I think. So I really should have just picked up that quest anyway and maybe just not bothered doing it. Because if he sends me down here, it's going to be annoying. But it's quite a distance. Hmm. Let's, let's just go to Townburg anyway. We can pick up the quest um, and then we can see. It's better to kind of see what's going on around everywhere uh, than to... Just kind of hope for the best, if anything. And we might run into some bandits as well. Um, I'm actually going to examine this because I want to eat. You can't go on. Oh, you're right there. Um, let's eat first, anyway. And well, we have a lot of food left, to be fair. We probably should buy some more. Just get our energy up. Uh, what are you? We're here now, so we're doing side quests. Let's see what you want. You want a bit of money and you'll be happy? Sir. If you only knew. He told me he'd marry me, even though his mother forbade it. And then they killed him. They killed him, the dogs. And his mother told everyone it was my fault. And now I have a child and we live like beasts in the woods. I hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the roadside. I'd like to bring the children something better to eat than acorns. Haven't you got... Don't think I have any food to give her poison bread. Of course. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Nice. So I should have given him a poison bread. How funny would that have been? <laughs> Just like, yeah, here, have some poison bread. Uh, so let's continue to make our way up to Townburg. It's quite a distance, but we'll make it up there. We'll start that quest, and then hopefully we'll find out where it is. Maybe try and do one more um, side quest objective, maybe even for Lady Stephanie, or for... Um, for to further this quest and then next episode we'll finish off both of these quests and then the episode after that We all get started back on the main quest. I feel like this is a nice break, you know um, Yeah, sure. Let's take these guys down Especially with my new armor and stuff. They're not gonna stand a chance. Where are you? Hello I can hear them I got attacked on the road, but I don't know where from The music is here as well. I guess they just, they saw me and decided to go the other way, I guess. Let's just remount up and just carry on moving. Maybe we'll run into them. And then we did get attacked on the road. Oh, no, you're just a wanderer? I guess we'll just carry on moving then. Like, not as well, guys. Don't get don't get annoyed as well, because I know I say I'm going to... Like, I want to just roam the countryside as well, but because this is side quests, I feel like we're just not going to spend as much time traveling to places. I know it does kill... Oh, we're actually just at Townburg already. Oh, awesome. I didn't realize we were this close. A lot of the time, I will just ride to places. I think that's what I'm going to do the majority of the time. But because this is just like a, um, a side quest, I don't really have to uh, try too hard to to focus it down. It was so cool as well to have Sir Bernard turn up with his, with the garrison of Townburg as well. It really, really was. Because I was so scared where, when we were telling Sir Bernard to send troops to come aid us, that we were going to end up being, uh, you know, like Townburg was going to end up being taken by the enemy. Because, I mean, they were building ladders for a siege. They were just outside of Townburg. So one would assume they were coming to take Townburg. So I, I didn't want us to turn up and then, then to suddenly assault Townburg. Luckily, though, that was not the case. So we need to find Lord Devish really quickly. Uh, speak of the devil. Just get off a horse here. We'll leave it here on the drawbridge nice and... Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to have my weapon drawn. Lord Devish, where are you? In the armory? How you doing, dude? I just want to get the quest, see where it is first. About the prop yes. Yeah, I'll do it, my lord. I'll yes. do it for sure. So basically, the, the priest like is trying to charge the, the price up, and we're going to go and help it out. See if they aren't talking about another quarry. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. So don't forget to... Awesome. The house of God started. Perfect. Game saved as well. So where is it? 
out of interest. Is it? Oh, it is down here. That's perfect. That is really convenient because we can we can get the crown whilst we're there. So we're gonna go up to Urzitz right now. Pick up the uh, pick up the Ronin, which I is that a horse or, or what? I'm not sure what it is. Um, but yeah, we'll pick up the thing for Lady Stephanie up there. Oh god, almost just fell off the goddamn side. Oh. Wait, we have an objective to talk to Lord Divish to find out more? Um, the House of God. No, just go to the monastery. That's fine, right? I guess we could find out more from him, yeah. That's the thing, this game doesn't like to tell you everything uh, that you can do, you know? You can talk to a lot of people and find out so many more key stuff. Is he in here anymore? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Has he gone up? Yeah, he's always right here. Just right on the castle walls, why not? Let's see if he's anything else to tell me. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, fine, cool. Just wanted to make sure, because a lot of the time you can get, like, additional information that will help you out further on down the line. And I wanted to make sure that he wasn't, like, not telling me something. Let's remount our horse, make our way over to Urzit, and then get to whatever we need to get. I'm sure I'll have another little uh, quest to it anyway. So where is it? C, so we need to go this way. If I'm not mistaken... Yeah, it's this way. Br brilliant. Let's ride hard. Hopefully we can get there before nightfall. Don't think... Yeah, it's just, it's just this road. There's no, like, side ones. Might run into some bandits on the road. I can't believe them bandits, I guess, saw me in my... I, I guess I do look very appropriate now, right? I look I look much more of a, a deadly warrior than I did say. If you look back at, like, episode one, at how different we now look. We definitely look like a scary, scary fellow. So we actually have to go around here if we want to get here. So through the woods and then take a right. I think as well, maybe next episode if we finish up these quests kind of early, I'm definitely going to... Uh, let me take a right, yeah. I'm definitely going to go ahead and try and learn a bit more about sword fighting, I think. Try and find out how to clinch better. And maybe get some practicing, because I'm sure there's like fighting rings around where we can just we can just fight like tournaments and stuff. So maybe we'll go and search for a tournament if we have some time next episode. That could be kind of cool. So as soon as we come up here, we want to turn right, I believe. Because I think it's like, uh, we might try and cut across country if we can. Mm, but again, there's so many walls in the road. Right? It's probably just quickly just to go this way. And again, we are discovering more stuff all, all the time. So I think we go down here. Because I believe it's like the other side. I believe it's like where we're looking right now, like up here somewhere. Could also always stop in as well, considering we are here, we could always stop in with our priest friend as well. See what he's uh we'll see what he's up to nowadays. <laughs> that was such a fun quest line. It really, really was. So it should be just up here. I believe this is the stud farm here. Oh. Did I just get knocked off my horse? I did, I just got knocked off my horse. I just rode into a sign and got smashed off by it. I did not realize that was a thing. That's hilarious. Um, so yeah, it's just here, right? Yeah, it's just, oh, don't mean to do that. Yeah, you can also increase the FOV as well, which is something I really want to do. So I'll probably do that for next episode as well. Uh, maybe give myself an, uh, a, an archery range. Um, so it's like here, yeah. I think that's probably this horse right here. I have to ride back without, and I'll probably get attacked on the road. Yeah, I would assume I'm going to get attacked on the road whilst we do it. But let's go ahead and collect it nonetheless. What about my poor horse? Who do I need to talk to? Someone here. Probably the horse trader, yeah. We also could think about buying a new horse as well when we get a bit more money. I'm honored that the knight such a Um I'm looking for the local groom. Yeah. I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I The Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well. Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard, but as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. Okay, I can definitely do that. So let's go talk to, to Vasha, wherever he may be. 
assume him a stable somewhere unless he's he's like oh no he's over here good thing i looked up my map instead of just running off yeah he's right up there actually let's see if he has any advice to give me god be with you god be with you sir i heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else yes i suppose i do and how do you do it how do you calm him down I'm good to him. <laughs> but how? Yeah, look at his speech. His speech is awful. Well, Visibility is so nice. Too, but I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I sing to him. Oh, God, we sing? have to sing. Wow. What? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's uh, <laughs> interesting. I just don't give him some food. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Bashek. I guess let's go over and start riding the horse. Yeah, so let's just take the man and, and hope for the best. Sorry about our horse as well. You know, we're just going to leave it here after all of that. Is it already going to be saddled for me? I assume it would be already saddled for me. Wait, is it out here or is it still in here? Oh, it's probably still in here, right? So one of these? It's cool as well. You can actually steal these horses. No, it must be the one out front, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's just right here. Oh, it's this one right here. So cool. I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to finish up these quests, uh, side quests for the masonry one. So we're going to go talk to some of the priests and then obviously collect the last off of Lady Stephanie. It's going to be convenient because they're both in the same place. Just down here. So we should be able to do both of these uh, next episode. And then after that, we will get back to doing the main quest. Seeing, uh, you know, go to the upper hall. Hopefully they'll be happy to see me after our successful fight. And hopefully just more fighting happens because... That engagement last episode was amazing. I digged it so much. So more of that would be very, very good. But nice. Go ahead and drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed this series. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.